Okay. Well, hello, for being here. Sorry to keep you away. Get started for anybody new. Maggie, your substitute teacher for cooking class. I am not. I am just a boy mom and a Monica. Thank you so much for being here. You know, if you want the side by side looks and sounds, we're going to go in for the boys tonight. Our recipe um, Big Mac egg roll before? No. No. Has that ever seen? So I have the ingredients. So we're gonna like fast food. food. This recipe, right? right? So let's get. I'll get the yeah, yeah, <clears throat> the thing. Yeah, there it is. All right. So let me. I'm going to um, get, get the ingredients out, and then we go. So this recipe, the seasoned ground beef. Make any ground beef. And then assemble the what are they called? Egg rolls. Before so I'm very excited about the attempt at a, a new new if you will of eating food. these egg rolls are made with flour. Used to have, but I. Did also wraps or so that have been approved for time. So we'll see how we um, let's get started and wash my hands. <clears throat> if anybody wants to say them too, and we'll take attendance, if you can then join. Watch, because I'm <clears throat> apron on. We're doing the bright pink Maggie merch in the Zazzle. The uh, let me see if I can do that's actually having a, a 20 off sale. So if you like to buy it with whatever you like, this is the color strap apron. This is the color strap or yellow color strap apron. This is we have long, we have stays. This TikTok, and then I tried to print the recipe. It didn't work for my phone. Can you just stay down the front room or here? Right, let me get you guys a side by side. If this is working, y'all know how I go so so fast. But we're gonna watch it. seconds so let me I do, do something wrong I don't okay here we go I, I don't hear anything okay. so, so as you can see here we're going to get our old wrapper right, make the special sauce in. let's so I have, I have a few apps open Hi, if you're doing well, you're welcome to join group if, if you would like. Oh, and I need the um, description better on Instagram. I got so, so many requests to continue my fun sharing five more recipes to kick things like my egg roll. The filling is seasoned ground and onion. Wet the edge of the egg roll wrap, boil, air fry, make the special so, as you can see, she went, but I did get the actual recipe, printed it out. 
So we're gonna get our. We need a pound of ground beef. Thank you so much for being here. And cigar, hop on over to YouTube or Facebook, and you can see the side by side of ground beef. So I bought this Walmart ground beef. So we're going to use um, and I did have this in the sink because today so, so it could just come down to I just so it could come, come down to you know hello 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 so we need, need a teaspoon of garlic powder so this is a very common seed this is garlic powder on the ground beef straight forward So we got our and it says two pickles dice and a pickles I have. I'm assuming for two pickles, I'm assuming like the pickles dice up two of the little hamburger chips, right? all know what goes on a Big Mac, right? They have these hamburger dill chips. Things since we're going to make it. And this makes uh, uh, 12 eggs. It can't be the hamburger chips. And I saw it straights me. I have two open ears. How many are in here? Traumatized with Pick number uh, in living color. My goodness, y'all, wait until you see this. Who did this? Did you do it? Did you? I'm going to pour the taking room in my fridge. Pickles. And didn't get rid of the boys. So we're going to go with kosher dill spears and I'm gonna let you know if y'all think it's something different. All onion. I do love about McDonald's. I know they put them through a machine but they have the smallest chopped these square bits of onion. I'm get mine that small but we are going to cut up some 12 slices of American cheese that I can't have cow dairy and goat's cheese but this is for the boys give a little American cheese for them Walmart this is like the craft this um American you know so you know that we all grew up on making grilled I try to eat uh, you know eat my goat's cheese <laughs> Vel is making these rolls um, you didn't want to kind of inbox me your, your picture then uh, uh, welcome to so Vel let me know if anybody else is doing Doing a cook that, I will drop the link here. Y'all know I struggle stream. All right, so the twelve. I also got these from Walmart. So let me get. I did about this. I bought this at Walmart this morning. So these. These are egg rolls, really proper egg rolls. I remember, remember my mom, so that's been since like 1842. Um, but I'm really excited if you watch the video, you know, we're going to brush fry them. So you could deep fry, but we're going to love Asian cuisine and authentic. But to me, 
and then one teaspoon. All right, so the hazies just came from the dollar store. That, that is for the egg rolls. We uh, make the meat, and we're going to brush them with oil and put the bacon in actually cook and while they're cool sauce. All right, one. let's go ahead and get started. Guys, fry frying pan, cook the ground beef in it, drain and then see salt and pepper. Y'all, this is recipe. I always do it their way. I will cook it in there and drain it. If it were me, I would see cooking it and then and drain if needed in each bite. But hey, this is, um, I think it's, oh yes, by sab.com. I think it's another recipe addict. So I'll in the description. All right, y'all, let's now that now. That Marcus had a swim, uh, and then Alex had, had his bike group, so I'm getting a late start. Okay. Hopefully that's better. Thank you so much, Bill. All right, so I'm gonna get my cooktop and we're gonna cook this ground beef right here. Oh Lord. One second, I did not leave this this dirty. Hold on. I'll get to the bottom of it. I do have cameras. But anyway, y'all know I cook and clean as I go, and this thing is disgusting. All right. I have taught both boys how to cook, but there are some things that I bought just for my scholars. And I know sometimes when I am rushing, I have a little bit more of a mess. All right, I'm gonna let that soak for just a second. I'm gonna get my cast iron out, and then I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get the cutting board too, um, and we'll dice our onion and our pickles. Hi, Herbie. Thank you so much for being here. If you wanna hop on over to YouTube, I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher. You can see the side by side. I know, I know, this is late for us too. Val started early. Trust me, uh, for anybody new here, I usually live stream every day at dinner time. I'm on the East Coast, Atlanta area, so I try around five to seven, but with school back, I'm all over the place. I am a boy mom times two. I have two teenage boys that are both in sports, so y'all already know. All right, we got that clean. So this is in the uh, description. I think I might have forgotten it, y'all, but if one of the moderators wants to find an old uh, link to the cheat sheet, this is the Duck's Top Cooktop. I ordered this from Amazon just for my scholars. I am your substitute teacher. You all are my scholars. The live chat is our study hall. All right, so now let's get the uh, cast iron. We need to come up with a name. Casty? I don't know. <laughs> oh. All right, 
So let's go ahead and turn this on and get this ground beef in here. This is just regular, it came from Walmart, one pound of ground beef. Hi, Living Out Loud. You know what, we're making egg rolls today. You might get some crispy edges. Thank you for being here. Let's go ahead and get that in the pan. We're gonna brown the ground beef. And I'm sure if you don't eat beef, you could do turkey, chicken. You could probably do any meat. I'm just gonna cut this over the sink because you know how it just pops out. Hi, Hakeem, thank you so much for being here and thank you for the $5 super chat. Hakeem says, already drooling. Well, sir, I'm just getting started. Oh, you're gonna run away now. Aww. Trust me, I know how you feel. I got something to tell you guys. You know, this is this is not what I want to tell you. I'll tell you while they're cooking because I got something to show you too. This is the struggle, you know, being a mom or being anybody who cooks for the family when you've got to cook food that you don't eat. It's just kind of like, it's so unfair, right? Here I am. <clears throat> Just my taste of those. Let me wash my hands and we'll get in here. One of my gadgets, this is the Pampered Chef Chop and Stir. Woo! Hopping me already. Maggie, the substitute teacher, is uh, six months old as far as my YouTube channel. I've just been cooking, like I said, since 1842. My mom is a retired home economics teacher and cooks all the time for the family. And so when she was in the kitchen, you know, my dad just said, Maggie, in the kitchen. And so, you know, I always have struggled with weight. But now in my 40s, you know, the weight problem started to turn into a health, uh oh, turn it off, into a health problem. And so I'm grateful the stuff that I hated back then, um, now knowing my way around the kitchen has helped me to make uh, better choices for me. But I still cook for the family. I got growing boys. Somebody got to cook. Hakeem says, just kidding. <laughs> You're sticking around. Aw, thank you for being here. But my point was that. You know, when I started this YouTube channel, I didn't think anybody would tune in just for the snacks. But I wanted to find something that I could do to be consistent. And because I cook every day, I figured I'd just turn the camera on when I'm in the kitchen. And so, you all being here, thank you for liking the video. Thank you for subscribing, for sharing my channel. We're growing. Um, for commenting, for participating in the live chat. All of that helps the YouTube algorithm, which just means, you know, my channel gets shared out to more people. But when you go above and beyond like Hakeem with the super chat, I don't expect any of it. And I'm so grateful. So thank you. Okay, so again, in this recipe, she says, cook the ground beef and then drain it. And then we're going to season it after it's drained. Y'all know I'm looking at this meat like... We need something else in here, but it's okay. And Living Out Loud says you've been missing us. I know. I miss you guys, too. This is actually the highlight of my day. I do work from home. I work in technology, thankfully. So it's easy for me to just come up in the kitchen, you know, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and bring you guys in with me. Um, however, um, I understand, you know, life happens. And sometimes you're available and sometimes you're not. But just know I'm always thinking of you. And um, feel free to multitask in my class. Feel free to um, come late, leave early, um, put me in your pocket and take me shopping or working out with you. I'll try to fit. Still got to get some of this weight off, but I'll try to fit. Um, but yeah, I understand. All right, everybody. So it looks like this didn't take long at all. She said 10 minutes. I didn't time it. But this is just a one pounder of ground beef. 
from Walmart, nothing fancy, you know, just regular ground beef. If you're doing the grass-fed organic farm, y'all know what I mean. Okay, so I'm just making sure that all the pink is gone, and that looks good. So I got my janky way of draining, y'all know. Like I said, I'm not a professional. Let me scoop some of this out. Because we're greedy and uh, groceries are expensive. Let's get all that cooked up. So I just use this like vegetable strainer and I just pour it over the trash. And then I bring it back to the skillet. It's a little tricky because this is heavy. So again, unseasoned ground beef. Alright, so I'm going to turn this off. It'll stay hot in the uh, cast iron. I do have the dishwasher running too, so that's a lot going on. So, to drain this... <clears throat> I have like a little vegetable steamer tray basket and then I just grab this carefully and I'm going to pour this in here over the trash can, never in the sink, and then I'm going to return it back to the pan. So I got that out. I'm a big fan of having kids in the kitchen to help, but with stuff like this, you don't want to. So let me bring this back underneath. All right, so we got that drained and we got our ground beef in here. Cast iron is heavy, so you wanna be careful with that. Okay, let's see, and her name is Sabrina. So her website is fed by Sab. I guess she goes by Sab for short. Sabrina. All right, so we're on step one. Drain the meat. Just did it. Season with garlic powder, salt, and pepper. So for garlic powder, she says one teaspoon. Okay. So we got our garlic powder. Oh, Hakeem. Hi, Shay Star. Thank you so much for being here. Hakeem has a question. All right, so let's get our garlic powder in here. She says one teaspoon, so I've got a teaspoon. I love garlic seasoning in savory dishes. It smells yummy. And then let's go pretty liberal with the salt and pepper. So Hakeem says, do you have a video on using a slow cooker? You know, I've been thinking about the slow cooker. I think I have a very old one because I want to do another one for you guys. I have a recipe for doing chicken wings in the slow cooker. It's basically you cook them from frozen in the slow cooker and then once they're cooked, you put them in the air fryer to crisp up. So I don't think I've done a live stream on that, Hakeem, but Hakeem, if you would like, since it's football season, I'm totally fine to do your wing recipe and you let me know when is a good day and time for you and we will schedule it. I love cooking for my scholars. Let's get a little taste. Since the meat is cooked through, we want to taste for seasoning before we continue. <clears throat> it's one of the things that mom taught me, two things. Cook with all of your senses. Don't just set it and forget it. So we need to taste. Taste your food as you go as long as it's not raw. Hi, Victoria. Thank you for being here. Garlic is good. A little more salt. And a little more pepper. No, Hakeem, I'm happy to show you some basics. Hi, Cardell. Thank you for being here. All right, so again, for anyone who just joined, this was just ground beef. Cooked and then drained. And then she says garlic powder, salt, and pepper. So... Y'all know what a Big Mac tastes like. All right, let's get a clean spoon and taste again. Oh, I got a 
small one. <laughs> Keep a whole container of tasting spoons. Really good. All right. Vel has already made these and she said the kids want more, so it's good. All right. I'm behind. We had a busy night with the kids, but our ground beef is done. I'm going to try and get caught up with Bill. All right. Iced coffee, Panera bread, unsweet uh, with almond milk and my sugar-free vanilla syrup. There's a story that goes along with that, y'all, I'll tell you, but let's focus and feed these greedy gong-gongs. All right. So for anyone who just joined. I got so many requests to continue my fun egg roll series, so I'm going to be sharing five more recipes. To kick things off, here's my most popular Big Mac egg roll. The filling is seasoned ground beef, cheese, pickle, and onion. Wet the edge of the egg roll wrapper and roll it up. Brush with oil, air fry, make the special sauce, enjoy. I got so okay. many requests. Okay, so we have made our meat. Let's see what's next. I think that's all we really have to cook. Now it's time to assemble. Oh, Hakeem, you're so welcome. Let me know when you'd like. Let me know what you'd like for me to make in the slow cooker. The slow cooker is a tricky one because um, it takes a while, but we could do, like on a weekend, we could do an AM and a PM stream. We could prep it and then make it. So I've done slow cooker wings. Of course, there's so many barbecue recipes. Um, I made a very nice butternut squash soup in the slow cooker that you just have to blend after. So let me know what you like. You've been such a supporter, so I'd love to cook for you. Okay, we are on step number two. To assemble the egg rolls, place one slice of cheese in the center. Top with two to three spoonfuls of ground beef, a few pieces of diced pickle and onion. Ah, I didn't do that yet. All right, so let's leave. Actually, let's move. All right, I'm going to put a top on here. It'll stay warm in the... Um, in the cast iron and I'm just going to move this behind me until we're ready to assemble. So we're done with the cooktop. Notice how I clean it every time. Somebody used my stuff. I'm going to find out. Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> so let me get a cutting board. We got to dice our onion and our pickle. So I'm gonna start with the pickle and happy mail. If you haven't received happy mail from me before, there is a hack that I use that's working to keep me from crying when I'm cutting the onion. If you know what it is, put it in the chat. All right, so for pickles, I've got these dollar store kosher dill spears. So we'll get two of those out. Bill, since you're making this, it says two pickles, and I'm wondering if it's like two whole pickles, or did you use spears? I kind of feel like since there's only four pieces in here, living out loud, you got it. You got it, you got it, you got it. So inbox me your um, mailing address if you would like, if you have an address to share, and I'll send you some happy mail. All right, so I'm going to start with just two of the pickle spears and four dice. Y'all know with McDonald's, I'm sure they have a huge machine that gets them all nice and small. But we got Maggie slices. So I'm just using the spears. We've got little slices and then we'll go back through them. Uh-oh, 
I don't want a puree, but you want small enough uh, pickle pieces. Peter, Piper, picked a pair of pickles. Is that how it goes? All right. Don't want to pulverize it. I wonder if that's enough. I feel like I need to do more because it's for 12 pickles. I think I'm going to go ahead and do all of it. Bell, you use three quarter of a pickle. Okay, so these spears, the way I'm looking at it, the geometry of them makes me think that four of these is one pickle. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up everything since that's all that's left. And I'll toss it. Sometimes, um, I don't know if I need to save any pickle juice. I don't think so, but um, I have heard, for those of you all who like Chick-fil-A, that they actually soak their chicken breast in pickle juice. So when you bite into a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich and you get that nice, salty, briny flavor, pickle juice. Oh, and I'm using the brandless knives. There is a discount code for you guys in the um, Maggie, what is it? Class of, uh, yeah, class notes. All right, so just getting, that should actually be good. All right, so we got our pickle, and then it said, um, let me move this right here. Uh oh. <clears throat> it said um, half of a small onion, and living out loud is right. Um, there's a little glass of water right here. Let me pour it into my. We read on one of our hacks that onion looks for the closest um, water source, something about the fumes or whatever. And so if you have a little cup of water, um, <laughs> if you have a little cup of water um, next to you, then it keeps you from crying. So we'll put that face down, get the papery pieces off. I do love onion, but y'all know. The egg rolls, just like the burrito, you know, a little goes a long way when filling it. So I'm just going to go down the natural line and then go across. When you get to the end, turn it. All right. <clears throat> so many different ways. Like I said, I'm not a professional. We just want small enough pieces so that when we fill our little egg roll, there's not like big onion bits or big pickle bits. So far, not crying. Let's just run through it. So we got equal amounts of pickle and onion. All right, I think that's good. I'm not McDonald's, I can't get the super small pieces. Y'all know, I love them though, those little. I would get extra onion if I could. All right, let me rinse off my hands. I'm feeling a little watery, so. Okay, so now I think we're ready to assemble class. So let's, let's see what she says. Let me get, all right, let me think about this. So we are going to assemble these and um, they're gonna go on the air fryer tray. We are going to, um, I don't think she used parchment paper or anything. Let me just watch it one more time. 
I got so many requests to continue my fun egg roll series, so I'm going to be sharing five more recipes. To kick things off, here's my most popular Big Mac egg roll. The filling is seasoned ground beef, cheese, pickle, and onion. Wet the edge of the egg roll wrapper and roll it up. Brush with oil, air fry, make the special sauce. Enjoy. I got okay. so many requests. So she just put it directly on her air fryer tray, so I'm going to do the same. So y'all know we got Excalibur. So this is the drip tray. I'm gonna line this with foil and then we'll put our um, wraps directly on here. So let me line this. Just got a little Reynolds pop-up sheet just for easy cleanup. All right, so this recipe makes 12. Let's see if we can get all 12 on here. Why don't I do this? Give myself a work surface. All right, we'll set that there for now. All right, y'all, here we go. So these are the egg roll wrappers that I bought from walmart.com, Walmart, and they were delivered. So let's get in here. Leanne says, looks like it would be, hey Leanne, looks like it would be better mixed up to get it in the wrapper. Do you mean all of the ingredients? Like, um, oh, I need to grab the meat off of the stove. Let's get these open. I'm going to try and do it her way so that it looks like nice and, you know, layered when we cut into it. So... The recipe calls for 12. I don't know how many these are, so I'll just take the whole thing out, but it looks like way more than, yeah, this is way more than 12. Oh yeah. All right, so let's make a little bit more space and bring the meat back. It's slightly warm, but I can handle it. All right. <clears throat> Y'all forgive me. I may have to watch that video a couple times and then rinse and repeat. So, let's see. Ooh, they feel good in the hand. Like they're, uh, they're like uh, pastry. You can see they've got flour on them, which is nice. I'm cooking for the kids. So this is a real egg roll wrapper made from flour. No substitutions tonight. Okay, so. Put them here. Get flour on my hand, getting getting uh, messy. Okay, so Leanne says, well, let's see how we do with the first one. All right, we're in step two. To assemble the egg rolls, place one slice of cheese in the center. Y'all, I'm a rule follower, so we've got one. We're gonna put it here. And I just have regular Walmart. This is just like your craft cheese generic. If you're working with kids, this would be good to get kids to help out, you know, in the assembly part. Oh my God, I haven't had this cheese in forever. Okay, place one piece of cheese in the center. All right, <laughs> done. Oh, top with, hey Lauren, thank you for being here. Step number two, top with two to three spoonfuls of ground beef. All right, so let's take our top off of here. Got a clean spoon. This is a tablespoon, so we'll probably just do, let's do one for now. Might be hard to roll it up. Maggie's getting greedy and it ain't even for me. So we got two tablespoons of ground beef. This is what we have so far. I know y'all like the close-up. Sorry, I should have been giving it to you every step, but we're gonna do 12 of these. Step two, top with two to three spoon fills of ground beef, a few pieces of diced pickle and onion. So a few pieces, and it looked like she put hers in a diagonal, so I'm gonna try and do a diagonal. I'm gonna watch it one more time before I roll it up. All right, so we got some pickle. I don't know about my portions, I'm just making it up 
and some diced onion. All right, I think we're ready to close it, but <sighs> y'all, I'm slow. All right, I can only do a little bit at a time, so I'm just gonna watch. Now I'm gonna rewatch this 30 second clip and see how she layers it. I got so many requests to continue my fun egg roll series, so I'm going to be sharing five more recipes. To kick things off, here's my most popular Big Mac egg roll. The filling is seasoned ground beef, cheese, pickle, and onion. Wet the edge of the oh egg roll over and roll it up. Fresh One more oil, time, y'all. Sorry. Fry, make the I think sausage. I got it right, though. I got so many requests to continue my fun egg roll series. So I'm going See, to be sharing five that. more recipes. To kick Cheese, things off, here's my most popular meat, Big Mac egg roll. Pickle, the filling is and onion. Ground beef, okay, cheese, got it. We got Richard Fox in the house. Hi, Richard. Richard and I go way back. He also has a YouTube channel. I forgot. If anybody here has a YouTube channel or a business or anything you want to shout out, please put it in the chat. Let us know how we can support you. You guys are here to support me, so I want to do the same. And we got a new scholar. Everybody say hi, Richard. And hi, the chocolate solution. <sighs> Speaking of chocolate, y'all. I've been staring at this thing and it's been staring at me. Complete sidebar. I went to get my unsweetened almond milk coffee. They were out of almond milk, so they had to get some from the back. And the nice man at Panera said, would you like a free pastry for the inconvenience? How about a chocolate chip cookie? And I was like, yes. So I've been holding on to it to share it with you all. I don't think I'm gonna eat it. I think I'm gonna give it to the boys, but I wanted you to know that I'm really struggling. Y'all know me in chocolate and sweets. Oh, mama. Okay, focus, Maggie. <clears throat> hey, y'all. Yes, welcome to the South. Okay, focus on the Big Mac. All right, so we did step number two. Step number three, wet the edges of the egg roll wrapper. Fold in two opposite, oh my God, y'all. Water. It's only going to, this is my first one. It's only going to, got some onion in there. I'm only going to be slow on the first one. After this, I'll get it, y'all. Like I said, I am not a professional. Okay, wet the edges. And I think she made it look all fancy, like with these, like, you know, uh, flight attendant fingers. <laughs> so I'm wetting it in the water. And I'm going around. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Going around the edges. Oh. Okay, wet the edge, fold in two opposite corners to the center and then tightly roll. So the two opposite corners and then I think I did it. Ooh, Richard is making homemade vanilla raspberry ice cream right now. Oh my goodness. Richard, remind me the name of your YouTube channel. Is it just Richard Boggs? And if uh, one of the moderators would drop his link. I think I got it, y'all. And then it says, and I'm going to do this last. We were in step three. Wet the edges of the egg roll wrapper. Fold in two opposite corners to the center. Then tightly roll. Repeat with the remaining. Okay. Okay. So we're supposed to make 12 of these. So we got one and I'm just going to, I don't know if y'all can see off here. I'm just putting them over here. We're gonna keep going. All right, so now egg roll wrapper. Cheese, please. Ah, thank you, Lauren. Thank you, thank you, Richard, for the encouragement. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, so, yes, if one of my moderators could look up Richard Boggs. Oh, that's right. Richard is our pampered chef. Ah, Richard. I use so many products. I know you know what this is. We use that in our ground beef. Oh, my gosh. I got so much pampered chef stuff. Love it. Okay, so cheese in the center, two spoons of meat. So two spoons seems to be a good quantity. And if we don't make 12, that's fine. We'll make them all the same. And a little bit of onion and a little bit of pickle. 
I actually like more pickle, but it's not about me, is it? Okay, try to keep the filling in the center because we got to wet the sides. I'm in like factory worker mode. All right, now that I got it, fold in two corners and then tightly roll. Uh oh let me set that down and then we're gonna repeat yes Richard knows the mixing shop Richard what is the proper name for this you're gonna laugh when I tell you I think we call it the comb all right back to the factory egg roll wrapper It looks delish. Okay, so we're gonna make as many of these as we can with our toppings. Cheese in the middle. Then we're gonna brush them with oil and air fry. Two spoons of meat. Try to keep your meat in the middle so when you go to fold it, your corners are clear. Diced onion and diced pickle. And while they're cooking, we're going to make the sauce. What's discontinued? Is it the um, my Afro pick or the mix and chop? All right, so then go in the corners and then tightly roll. All right, I don't know if y'all can see over here. We have three. Uh oh, we have three so far. Let me try and keep these out of the way. All right, next. <laughs> Richard, I know Pampered Chef does not call it the fro pick. Oh, that's what's um, discontinued. Yeah, you know, if you have really good knife skills, y'all, I'm just repeating the process. So ask any questions. I did drop the link if anybody wants to chat, or we can just chat in the chat but um i'm going to get all of these together two spoons of ground beef oh and i will tell you guys I, I know i was clowning her technique but actually it does taste good just cooking the meat and then seasoning it afterwards you know i was kind of like shouldn't you season it before but as long as it's still kind of hot and still got a little bit of that uh, moisture or whatever oil it absorbed the spices really well. All right, then going in, over. I'm coming up, y'all, if y'all have questions. All right, so we have, I think we'll get eight on this tray. We have four so far. They're not all the right, the same size, but hey, I'm trying. All right. We'll get another tray if we need to. We're gonna use up all this meat. Yeah, I was gonna say, should I make less? But she says 12, let's go for 12. We're a third of the way there. Oh, thank you, Lauren. Lauren found Richard's, cha Richard's channel. Y'all please check him out and give it a subscribe. Uh-oh. No, they're not rice. And this is not substitute, y'all. This is full flavor for the kids. This is what I'm using from Walmart Frida's egg roll wrappers. You can bake or air fry, but these are wheat. So this is not my gluten-free. I do have, and I'll show you guys when I come to a stopping point. I did get some rice wrappers. I think I want to do the shrimp scampi with the rice wrappers. Those have been approved for me, but Alex found this TikTok. My youngest son, Alex, the substitute taste tester, and he sent this my way. So I said, eh, why not? I'll try it or I'll make it. Y'all know I'll do, you know, I'll try anything once. And um, Vel has already said that her she made this early and her kids tore it up. If you want a sneak peek into what I'm doing before the live stream, I usually live stream every day for dinner. I know we're late, had a late, had swim, had bike club. It's just back to school. Um, <clears throat> consider joining uh, my membership tab. We have membership levels um, starting at $5 a month. 
and you guys get some behind the scenes and advance notice of what I'm doing. All right, I think I need to roll these a little bit wider. So we have five. Ah, yes, Richard. <laughs> Your Japanese husband would love a McDonald's. Oh, because I'm doing egg rolls, I'm like, that's funny. Would like a American food, but yeah. Hey, you guys, if this goes well, then think of what else you could stuff your egg roll wrappers in, wrappers with, right? You could do uh, something sweet, like apple pie filling. Um, you could do something savory, like what about pizza filling, right? Like, um, you know, cheese, please, and marinara sauce and all that good stuff. We could call it a little Maggie fusion, Asian fusion, or just, you know, a fun way to, you know, change it up a little bit. So go into the corners, like a little whatever this is, and then roll it up. Uh-oh. And the water helps keep it stick together, kind of. All right. I don't know if y'all can see, we've got Six so far. Let's see. I know I can get two more on here. All right. Um, Richard, the impossible. Uh oh, did y'all lose me? Am I still here? Let me know. So Richard, I have actually had the impossible burger. That's the one with like uh, the plant-based meat. Um, y'all know I work. Oh, I forgot the cheese. We're gonna put the cheese on top. See what happens? I get distracted. Um, before the pandemic, I was uh, a manager for the for the Coca Cola company. Great company, great uh, benefits. Um, but you know the corporate stress and the commute and all of that. But we had a team meeting at this burger place, and it was when the Impossible Burger came out. And I was like, let's try it, you know, company, you know, sponsored um, outing. And I actually liked it. Now, the meat by itself, would I eat it? No, but put together in a burger with all of the toppings and whatnot, it was actually pretty good. I know my, my brother is a fan of the Impossible Burger, too. So that's what I like to show you guys on my channel. You know, there's so many different... I call them sub. One moment, please. Okay, one more. I heard something. I don't like the sound. One moment. watch at all times. Lauren says, yes, I am. What did I say? Who knows, y'all? I just keep going. All right. I think this is going to be the last one on this tray, but we're going to use it all up. So I was going to say tortilla, egg roll wrapper, slice of cheese. Hi, Uncle Stu. Uncle Stu, thank you so much for being here. Y'all know Uncle Stu also has a YouTube channel where you get all the information. He loves my substitute recipes. This is not a substitute recipe. This is full flavor for the kids. This is Big Mac egg rolls using the beef is fine. The onion is fine. The pickle is even fine. But these are egg roll. Sorry, y'all. I don't know why with teenage boys, it just sounds like wildebeest in the house. I, I, I don't understand. All right. All it is is the egg roll wrapper, ground beef that we cook, diced onion and pickle. We're gonna wet the edges just with water. And then you come in at the corners, one flap. The other flap 
and then you want to come up from the bottom and then roll. Okay, y'all. So this is what we have. And then she said, brush them with oil. So this tray is full. So we will come back. We will do all of them. I almost want to ask, how many egg rolls would y'all eat? Yours were eggless? She didn't. Okay, I don't, I don't understand. But let me get these in the air fryer. All right, y'all. So this is what we have. And then she says, I think she says brush both sides with oil. Sorry, y'all. Okay, we were on step. Uh-oh, did it freeze up? We were on step three. It'll come back. <gasps> y'all, look who's here. Oh my goodness, this is fed by Sab. Fed by Brina, we are making your recipe. I am so honored that you stopped by. We got our meat, our onion, our pickle, our egg roll wrappers, and now, I've got your instructions up. We were on step three. We did wet the edges, repeat with the remaining, and then brush in step four. Yes, brush both sides of the egg rolls with oil, air fry at 400 for five to 10 minutes. Everybody, please say hello to Fed by Sab while I get the oil and the brush. And I want to know with these Big Mac egg rolls, how many would you eat? And you know I've got two teenage boys. How many do you think they will eat? Because Sabrina said her recipe will make 12, and I've got eight so far. So we've got four more to make. <laughs> this is incredible. I'm so excited. Okay. So the recipe doesn't say which oil to use, so I'm gonna use what I have. I know, Caudel, how you feel about this, but this is, and I do have olive oil, um, but this is grapeseed oil, and it's for high heat cooking. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of this in here. <sighs> oh, right, don't lose the upside down one, the one that I messed up. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of oil in here probably a little bit more since we need to brush both sides. And I'm gonna get the pastry brush. All right, so I've got a little silicone brush here. This is just the oil that I have. The kids ate three, you could only eat two. Okay, so literally y'all can see these egg roll wrappers had like flour or something on them. So I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna really just get them greased up. And then she says both sides. So I'm brushing with oil and then we'll turn them over and brush the bottom side and then they're gonna go in the air fryer. I know it's a late dinner, but I don't know if y'all have boys that eat like the after school snack and then dinner and then the bedtime snack too. It's ridiculous especially the swimmer, he consumes a massive amount of calories. All right, so we're getting them greased up. Of course, if you're gonna deep fry, you don't have to do this step, but I do like the fact that hopefully we can get them crispy in the air fryer. Uh-oh, it froze up on us. I'm gonna turn. Sabrina is over on Instagram too, y'all. I'm so excited. Sorry, I lost you there. So we've got one side greased up. So now we're going to turn these over. You know what I'm wondering? I guess it doesn't matter. You know what? Because we use the water to seal them, when I turned them over, I was worried they were going to like pop open like a tortilla, but they're actually staying closed for me, which is good. Oh, yo, that is so amazing. Can you believe the original chef is watching? 
Okay, focus, Maggie. All right, so we've got the bottom side that we need to get greased up. So back in here with the oil, and I'm just going to brush and get everything nice and greased up. Then she says air fry for 5 to 10 minutes at 400. I do like this brushing part. Makes me feel like a little bit of a proper chef, which I am not. Y'all know I am just a home cooker, but I will try. All right, so I'm just getting the corners. We want everything nice and crispy. All right, y'all. Oh, gold teeth. Look, Sabrina says I'm doing great. Okay, let's put these in the air fryer. We've gotta make the sauce. And the recipe calls for 12, so you all tell me, should I go ahead and make the sauce first or finish wrapping? You can put what you think I should do next in the chat. Gold teeth, thank you. I'm so glad you're here. All right, so these are going to go in the air fryer. Okay, make the sauce, make the sauce. QQ says make the sauce. Okay, so we've got more ingredients, but I'm just going to move them. We'll make the Big Mac sauce so the boys can start eating because we can rinse and repeat. So I'm going to move these to the back. This is what I'm using, the egg roll wrappers. Sabrina's here with us. We've got some extra ground beef. We'll save all this back here. All right, so this was just the oil we were brushing with. I'll get fresh water. This was to close the egg roll wrappers. And then we had diced uh, half an onion and pickle. So I'll just move this for now. And we're gonna make the sauce. So when these come out all nice and golden brown, we'll cut them in half and see if they look as good as Sabrina's. <gasps> move the cookie. I put the cookie on the uh, air fryer on on purpose to see if it would get warm. <laughs> you caught me. All right, we'll give it just a minute and see how our chocolate chip cookie is doing before I give it away. All right, so for the sauce, Sabrina's uh, recipe, and I got the uh, screenshots here, and I did link her recipe in the description. So you all please check out Sabrina. I am so honored she's here. She's got a YouTube, she's got an Instagram, I think she's got a TikTok. Um, and Sabrina, I don't know if I said my youngest son, he's here. I should go get him. He found your recipe and he asked me to make this. Okay. So for the special sauce, uh, her recipe is mayo, ketchup, relish, mustard, and apple cider vinegar. So in case anybody missed it, I'm going to show you the video, then I'm going to grab our ingredients and we'll make it. I know that cookie, right? So this is what we're making. Oh, and onion. Wet the edge of the egg roll wrapper and roll it up. Brush with oil, air fry, make the special sauce. Sorry. Enjoy. I got so many requests to continue my fun egg roll series, so I'm going to be sharing five more recipes. To kick things off, here's my most popular Big Mac egg roll. The filling is seasoned ground beef, cheese, pickle, and onion. Wet the edge of the egg roll wrapper and roll it up. Brush with oil, air fry, All right, so she puts everything sauce. together and stirs so it up. All right. So, and that is Miss Sabrina. Okay. So let's see, four tablespoons. Well, let's just get everything first. First, the mayonnaise. So this is what I have for mayonnaise. We'll measure in a second, just regular Duke's mayonnaise. Then she says ketchup. I don't know what happens in this house. 
but we're running low. Y'all know I got my sugar-free ketchup. Nobody's going to like it, but... So in a pinch, we may just have to make it. This is my calorie-free ketchup. Usually I cook healthy stuff for me, but we're cooking for the kids tonight. So we'll get our ketchup out of this. Relish. Let's see if we can find the relish. And Sabrina, if you're still here, what else have you made in this egg roll style? I think I saw you had an apple pie and like a pizza one too. All right, so we have relish here and then mustard. All right, so we have just regular old mustard. And then this one is interesting. On her sauce ingredients, she has apple cider vinegar, which I do have, but uh, I wouldn't have expected that in the Big Mac sauce. Let's try it. All right, this is what I use in my teas. So let's now get the measurements. Let's get um, a little container together to mix our sauce. Check on the cookie, cookie's fine. All right, so we're gonna put our ingredients together for the sauce. She says four tablespoons of mayo. All right, so we have a two tablespoon measure, so we need two of these. Let's open up the mayo. <gasps> Y'all, Sabrina says she has made um, lots of fun flavors, Reuben, jalapeno, bang bang shrimp oh my god that sounds so good pizza spicy salmon okay scholars so i'm your substitute teacher you all are my scholars look at miss sabrina's list of other egg roll varieties and let me know what else you'd want us to try and i'm going to text the requester so all right let's get four tablespoons in here that open. So we'll just do, there's two, and then let's do a heaping one. All right. So we got our mail. Let's scrape that out. Y'all know we're greedy here. Ah, Sabrina says that the apple cider vinegar adds a hint of sweetness and tang to the sauce. Y'all know we like tang, right? <laughs> So let's get all of this out of here. We want all of our ingredients. All right. I should have this printed out. I had trouble. So now two tablespoons of ketchup. Let's see if I can get two tablespoons. Kids, it just goes... Almost. I might be able to scrape this out. All right. So we got some ketchup. I'm just going to get all of it. I'm going to toss it. No need to waste. I'm going to get in there with the spatula and get all, all the ketchup that I can. All right. We may need a little bit more. I've got this one. This is no sugar added, but whoa. Little explosion, but we got the ketchup. Clean my hands. Oh, seven minutes. Okay, let's take a look and see how they look. She said five to ten. We did seven. I think we need to go in a little bit more. They look really good. I think I'm gonna turn them over. Y'all hear them sizzling. Let me see if I can turn them over and we'll do like three more minutes. What do y'all think? Yeah. All right, let's 
see if we can just, oh, they look beautiful on the bottom. So I'm just going to turn these over. Do you remember what you asked me to make? Egg rolls. Egg rolls. Do you, did you take a look at who, um, can you look at the video that you sent me? And can you tell me where the recipe came from? I'm Sure. If you go into your text messages, it'll be, okay. ah, so this must be the one, uh, Caudel, the one that we didn't do the cheese first. You can see here. Ooh, Caudel wants the bang bang shrimp. All right. So I just turned them over, y'all. We're going to go back in the air fryer for like three more minutes, and we're going to finish making this sauce. I'll move them up just a bit higher. Back to 400. It was on Instagram. All right, what's the name of the person? Um, hold on. Yeah. He gets yummy foods. They make, yeah, yummy foods. This woman makes a lot of Ah, okay, gotcha. All right, we got a lot of people making Miss Sabrina's uh, recipe. All right, so we've got the mayo and the ketchup. Three more minutes and then, well, five more minutes. One and a half tablespoons of relish. So let's get our relish. All right, so we've got a tablespoon. I know spatulas. I know they all are good. That bang bang shrimp, bang bang shrimp and the pizza and the salmon ones are talking to me. So she says one and a half tablespoons. I'm gonna do a heaping tablespoon of relish y'all know we're greedy and then she says one tablespoon of mustard let me tap this all right so let's get a tablespoon of mustard get in there with our spatula get all of that and two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. I think I already used a teaspoon, but we'll do, I don't know, a tablespoon is like three teaspoons. So like a two thirds. So we got our apple cider vinegar in here. Okay, so let's mix it up. See if this gives us our Big Mac sauce experience. So we got mayo, relish, uh, mustard, ketchup, apple cider vinegar. I almost feel like I need some more ketchup because I kind of guessed at it. Let's see, I might get the last little bit get in there all right that's what I could get all right so you guys know we got to taste it all right <laughs> she's right y'all it tastes like Big Mac sauce but it has like a little zippy okay I'm gonna get the plates for the boys let me clean up because we are going to be done. We're going to cut these in half, see if we can make, oh, sesame seeds. Got those. When they come out, we'll sprinkle them. Got a little bit of mayo. I'm excited. Oh, gosh. All right, so we're going to give the boys get a plate for them. Two plates. Y'all already know. All right, let me get a little container for their sauce. Oh, it's saying off. And our cookie is slightly warm. Let's take a look.
nice and bubbly. Let's see if we can do our, she says, um, <clears throat> oh, flip halfway through cooking and brush with more oil if needed. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on here so that the sesame seeds will stick. I didn't read that part, sorry y'all. But I think they look good to me. And then I just have sesame seeds. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right, let me get them on a plate. Um, I'm nervous. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to move them over. I'll cut into one. Oh, so you guys can see, sorry, I don't know if you can see. Maybe could have gone a little bit browner, but we did 10 minutes. All right, so let's move these over. Would you believe it if I told you that the originator of this recipe, Miss Sabrina, is actually watching the live stream right now? Okay, one second. You can stand back for a moment. I'm trying to, um, we'll keep the one that was a little bit, I did out of order. Oh, really? Yes. I'll give you guys three. And I'm going to cut this one in half. Let me get a quick cutting board. So she's the yummy food? Uh, her name is Sabrina, Miss Sabrina, and it's fed by Sab. Sab is short for Sabrina. So we're going to try and cut this on a diagonal and see if we can get it to look all nice. Can I cut it? Okay, just give me a second. It's really hot, please. I know, I know. I'll let you say hello in just a moment. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's hot. All right. Uh, let me cut this. Excuse me. All right. So let's see if we can get this. Oh, look at this. Miss Sabrina, did you read what she said? Miss Sabrina, I'm going to introduce you to Alex. This is my youngest who found the video. Can you say hi, Miss Sabrina? Hello. Can you read what she put right there? Yummy Foods reposted my video. It was my video. Y'all, I want y'all to be able to see the um, side by side. It cuts so clean. Let's see how it looks. We got our cheese in there. It's hot. All right, wait, wait, wait. hold on. You know I gotta take pictures. Oh my goodness. Okay. I watch. I'm gonna put half. I'm gonna try and make it presentation wise. I gotta try it. Mmm. Mmm. Let's get the sauce. This looks delicious. It looks delicious. I'm even going to give you guys half of a cookie because, um, mom, yes, I'm going to send you recipes like this. Oh, you're going to send me recipes like this yes, now? Because that's all I really do on my phone. It's kind of just scroll through recipes. I saw you do on the phone. So I can eat good food. Really? Like this. Although I haven't tried it. All right. One second, sir. I'm going to take a picture. Can you stop breathing down my neck, please? Okay, I'll move over here. Oh, yes, you want a, a cooking mitt. That sounds like a great idea. Absolutely. More merch? Woo! Hot. Who said it was going to be melty? I want this so bad, but I am going to give it away. You want my cookie? No, it's not yours. Uh, Panera gave it to me. Oh. Okay, let me take a quick picture. Can you step aside, please? Gosh. But, but. All right. So let's get in here. 
with a beautiful picture that we can tag Miss Sabrina, dinner for the boys. I know it probably should have, if my mom is watching, she's gonna say it should have more veggies in there, but. Yes, I agree with her. Okay. So let's see, we got our Big Mac Wait, egg rolls. Are you a vegetarian? No, I'm not a vegetarian. All right, give it a try and let Miss Sabrina know. Marcus? Oh, that's hot. That's delicious. It's delicious? The cheeses. The cheeses? Marcus, come down. Ooh. And then we've got pickles. Oh, let them know how it is. Hot. It's hot? And good. It's good? Hi, Don Juan. <laughs> Thank you. If you want to uh, see the side by side, feel free to come on over to YouTube or Facebook. I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher. So you like it? We have like four more to make. Verified by Alex Brown. This recipe is good. Recipe is good? Okay. Well, you can take your plate. I'm going to try the cookie now. You can take your plate, please. No, I got to show. I got to see. Let me mute and call your brother. Delicious. Delicious. Ah, Miss Sabrina says, so glad to hear you enjoyed them. All right, please take your plate. Let your brother come eat. Can you go to the table? All right, so the swimmer is here. I made Big Mac egg rolls and the actual mm -hmm. chef who That's came up with this recipe, Miss Sabrina, is watching. Oh, try. Alex, did you try the sauce? Okay. It, it looks, it looks. Not yet. Not yet. It, it looks really good. Okay. Try it and let them know. Mm. Ooh, it's hot. It is hot. I have sauce. The sauce is good. Did you make it or was it part of the recipe? I made it. I mean, it's Miss Sabrina's recipe. What's in the sauce? The sauce is ketchup, verified. Mayo, mustard, relish. No, I do not. Would you like to taste this so I can move on? So, so you just so you can move on. I want to try one too. I have one. I'm waiting on you. You. <laughs> Anything? That's really good. It's really good. You like it a lot? Okay. So, boys, Miss Sabrina has so many different flavors of what? Of these egg rolls. She has Reuben, jalapeno popper, bang bang shrimp, pizza, spicy salmon, Tex Mex avocado. Yeah, she's going to inbox me on Instagram. Why do all those sound good? Yeah, they all sound good, don't they? All right. Okay, what's this? Is no, they're all the same. You can just take them. Wait, oh. I just cut one for the picture. Good. It's good? It's like, I've never eaten this before. This is completely new. I've never made this before. It's completely new. <laughs> Miss Sabrina made this recipe. Alex found it online, sent it to me. Okay, you can go now. Thank you. I'm so shaking the real soup shake. I'm gonna try one. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna try mine? No, I have one. I saved one. I'm gonna try it. Thank you. Almost like a pastry. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's like a pastry. All right, let me see if I can have one for me. Y'all know the kids. Oh, Miss Sabrina, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's see. Y'all know this is off of my plan, but for research purposes. Oh, here's the other thing. They're still very warm. Y'all, we cooked these and took them out a while ago but they're very warm, so they keep the heat well. Almost too well. Almost too well? 
So, Adele, this is the one that we messed up, that I messed up. And look who's here. Nana's here. Boys, you want to say hi to mom? Nana. So, Kadel, this is the one that I got out of order. I put the cheese in the middle. So, mom says, um, make one with shrimp. I have shrimp. I'm going to try and do a little bit of plating. I don't eat much, so what I do eat, I want it to look That's nice. Good sauce. The sauce is good. Well, come tell Miss Sabrina. She's watching. Y'all, this is a first class. The chef is here. Let's see. These would be great, um, like appetizer for a party. Let me move this so y'all can see. Let me take a quick picture. This would be a great, like, you made a tray of them and then cut them. I almost like the one that I messed up because you can really see the cheese in there. Why is it so good? It's so good? I'm full. You're full? But I have one more. Oh, yes. You want one more? No, I have one more. Okay. So I'm going to finally try it, y'all. Sandy, you're never late. Yes, y'all. The chef has graced us with her presence. The look. What's your feedback? Such a sly. It's like it's like a burger. It's like a burger. Tell them. It's like a burger, but or like burger burrito, but cooked. It's like a burger, but a croissant. Ah, burger croissant. Okay. You like the flaky, crispy, crispy a good croissant. I need some more sauce. More sauce? Okay, take this with you or bring your plate. Y'all, it's really, really good. I can't eat this every day, but we're gonna we're gonna do so oh. We're gonna do so many more versions of this. It's so good. All the sauce. Looks good. And this is the one that I kind of messed up. Per uh, Sabrina, you're supposed to put the cheese on the bottom, but I got out of order. One moment, please. Alexa, stop. Sometimes the robots just start out of nowhere. <clears throat> oh, so Miss Sabrina is going to email me, but you guys know what would be really good since Marcus said it kind of gives him like the croissant experience. Sweet. So like those TLA fried apples or any of the other um, dessert kind of things that we've made, put them inside. You could still brush them with oil and air fry. And this could be like a whipped cream on the on the side, um, so you could make them savory or sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ooh, Miss Sabrina says, "Oh, I forgot. I have a cherry cheesecake or cheery cheesecake." <clears throat> now you just want me to lay down and not get back up. Oh my gosh. Caramel apple cheesecake recipe. Oh my gosh. So, scholars, for those of you watching, let me know if you prefer sweet or savory. Oh yeah, y'all know I'm a proud student of the lead attorney. He has claimed the fried apples as his. If you like these type of recipes, like the pizza one and the burger one and the Reuben one and the salmon one, put savory in the chat. If you think this would be a good dessert, 
with apple pie filling or cheesecake filling with the flaky croissant crust, put sweet in the chat. So I want to know where my sweet and where my savory. I, um, you need this? No, you can put it back while I eat just one. <laughs> you want this one? Mm-mm. Uh, Alex. Mm-mm. Just leave it if you're done. Okay, so gold teeth says savory. Tyrone can't vote. He says both. I'll have one say I'll have one of each, please. Can't decide. Sandy can't decide. Okay, I'm going to call it. Sabrina, the original chef, says she can't decide. Thank you, Lauren has broken the tie, savory. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think I would vote for sweet because with this like brushed with oil, air fryer texture, Marcus still has one left. I'll cut it. But y'all, it just gets so like, buttery and crispy. I know y'all like the close-up. I'll cut. <laughs> Vel! Vel says both of them. Let me cut into this one for you. Are you done eating? Yes? <sighs> y'all, I may not make the rest of them. I made eight tonight and you can see I gave the boys four and you can see they are very filling. They cut really clean, especially when they're hot. <laughs> Sandy says, thank you. Why limit? <laughs> All the taste buds need love. So this is the one that we did in order. You can see the cheese is towards the bottom, um, the way you're supposed to do it. You can see the cheese is towards the edge. And then you put the meat and then the onion and then the pickle. And then you dip it in the sauce. But the one that I messed up, that the cheese was in the middle, it just, oh, y'all, greedy. Condell, Condell says, have a savory one for dinner and then have a sweet one for dessert. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Y'all, we got to stop. I'm putting some more sesame seeds on there. Cause you know, we like those sesame seed buns. <clears throat> Y'all, this was so much fun. So the recipe makes 12. We only made eight tonight. So I've got more. Mm. Want more? Totally. No, I'm not, I'm not eating anything else. You're full? Okay. Okay. How'd you make the sauce? The sauce was ketchup, mustard, mayo, pickle, no, relish, vinegar. It's in my phone. I'll send it to you like you're going to make it. <laughs> Tyrone says you're a sweet. I got a sweet tooth too, Tyrone. I'm right there with you. Hey, Mona. But the burger was fire. Yeah. Y'all, welcome to your Big Mac egg roll. Oh, I was going to show you guys. So I'm eating off plan tonight. I know this is... Really? Mm -hmm. But let me show you guys the wraps that I got and see what we can do with them. We're not cooking anything else tonight. We're done. Oh, yes. Thank you. Please like the live stream if you like what I'm doing. Um... Thank you. Yeah. So this is what we used tonight for the Big Mac recipe. I got these from Walmart. I placed a grocery order and I do have a discount code for you guys. Um, you know, I use the Walmart delivery services. Excuse me. I placed an order last night and they brought it. Y'all know that I'm trying to avoid uh, these carbs and gluten. So this was great for the kids. 
I'm so glad that we did them. This is Miss Sabrina's re recipe. Please, if one of the moderators, oh, sorry, could please put um, Sabrina's YouTube, her Instagram, her Facebook, whatever she has, I linked her in the, um, in the video. Mm. Sabrina says, this was so much fun, Maggie. You are such a joy to watch. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you and your kids enjoyed the recipe. Have a great night. Yes, you'll message me on Instagram. It was my absolute honor that you dropped by. It was my absolute pleasure to recreate your recipe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Scholars, please tell Miss Sabrina, and her site is fed by Sab. Sab is short for Sabrina. Yes. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap up y'all cause I can't top it. But I just wanted to show you guys these spring roll wrappers. I don't know if you've ever seen these kind of wrappers. <clears throat> so this is made from rice cause I'm trying to avoid the wheat. So we are going to do something, what, I don't know, maybe shrimp for Nana, but we are going to do some type of maybe shrimp roll with veggies and we'll do this again. This is approved for me. This is what I use for the kids. I know sometimes y'all like to screenshot. So I just want to show you everything from beginning to end. But we had so much fun tonight. I'm going to eat these last two bites. And um, y'all, fall is coming. I think I want to do, I saw a recipe for pumpkin pancakes. I know. For anyone new here, thank you. Ooh, Miss Sabrina says you can make them in the air fryer and they turn out crispy. The texture is a bit different than the egg roll wrappers, but you can use the rice paper wrappers too. Y'all shut the front door. We may have a substitute version. And the reason I'm making the substitute teacher is because clearly I love to eat, but I need to eat sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free to get the rest of this weight off. So Miss Sabrina says, maybe tomorrow, y'all, because I still have leftover meat and onion and pickle. I can have all of that. I can have most of these condiments, just use my sugar-free syrup and my calorie-free mayo. Y'all, maybe tomorrow I'll make a substitute version. And Miss Sabrina says I can do them in the spring roll wrappers and air fry them too. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah, y'all, we're gonna explore, explore. But for anybody new here, I'm having this last bite. For anyone new here, I, I usually live stream every day. This is just me chronicling my health and wellness journey uh, with food. Plus, I'm a boy mom times two, so I'm always cooking for the kids. So if you like what I'm doing, thank you for being here. Subscribe if you wanna be notified when I'm going next live. <clears throat> Please also subscribe to Miss Sabrina. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Happy dance. All done. Mm. Look at Maggie mopping the plate. Y'all, I told you I'm greedy. All right. Thank you, Sabrina and Alex. Cardell likes the messed up one. Oh my gosh. Y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I didn't eat the cookie. Did you notice that? I had the egg roll, but the cookie is gone. Thank you all for being here. Everybody who's been here before, everybody who's new, and a huge thank you to Miss Sabrina for posting this recipe. Alex found it. We made it tonight. Kids loved it. Mom loves it. And I love you all. So good night, Instagram. Thank you for being here. Ooh, yes, that's right. Goat's cheese for me instead of the craft cheese. Yeah, we can make a substitute version. Absolutely. All right, you guys. Enjoy your evening. I know it kept you late, but I had so much fun. Thank you. And we'll see you on the next stream. Good night, everyone. Class is dismissed. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter.